So the 2024 Ford Mustang, the S650 generation might be delayed and I'm here to tell you why that's a good thing. Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 -0. Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, we've got some bad news, but I honestly think it's a good news that the Mustang is going to be delayed. So the 2024 Mustang is going to be 7th generation Mustang. It's going to be all new, brand new Mustang coming in right around the summertime. At least that's what we hope it would be. So recently, if you have been keeping up the news, Ford had to close down their flat rock plan where the 2024 Mustang is going to be built. And honestly, that's for a good reason. So Ford came out saying that they were going to shut down the plan where they plan to build the Mustang for some tweaks and retooling. Now, every time there is a new Mustang or any new car for that matter, there is always going to be retooling because, you know, every production line is going to have to be retooled for the specific body. And if there's new parts and everything would have to kind of fit in there. So retooling is nothing new in the industry and we were kind of expecting that Ford would have to do that. But they have found some issues that is causing Ford to shut down the production line for the 2024 Mustang. There are three main reasons why they're doing it. But I think that one of the reasons is something I've always had a complaint with my S550 2019 Mustang GT. So I'm really glad Ford is looking into it and will probably be able to solve it before the 2024 Mustangs launch out to the public. So we'll get to the problem I've had with my 2019 Mustang GT, but for purpose of the S650 Mustang, the two issues, so there's three issues really, two of them are specific to the 2024 Mustang, and one of them is something that has been lingering with Ford for so long, and I'm so glad Ford is finally paying attention to be able to fix it. I have to give it to Ford that, you know, Ford is still keeping the V8s alive for the Mustang while the competition is kind of going for the EVs and the hybrids. Uh, but because of that, there is going to be some V8 valve covers issue with the Mustang GT and the Dark Horde that are going to be spawning the 5 liter Gen 4 Coyote motor. So Ford is working to fix that. And they're also looking into fixing some of the electronics issue that they're having with the S650 Mustang. So it makes sense they want to catch all of that before the official production begins for the Mustang. So that means the Mustangs are going to be delayed. If you have placed your order in and your dealer kind of gave you a rough idea when it's going to be delivered, expect at least a few weeks of delay because of this. Now, the one thing that I'm really excited that Ford is finally taking care of is going to be the panel gap. And if you watch my videos, if you watch all of that, my two year, three year reviews, you have seen how much I have commented on some poor, poor panel gaps on the Mustang. And I get it. It starts off as a rental car, basically a $25,000 EcoBoost, but when you're buying a GT, GT Premium, and in some people's cases, a Shelby GT350 or 500, you're paying a good bit of money for that car. And while we're not expecting like a German level quality in terms of the panel gaps and how everything kind of is put together, we want something a little bit better from Ford. I paid, you know, upwards of $40,000 for the car. That, that was the MSRP on the car at least. And the panel gaps pretty much like from the front, from the back, they're really annoying me. And then when I first noticed them, did not sit right with me and I wanted to get it fixed, but I know the dealerships really aren't able to do much with it. Um, if you really make a fuss about it, they might be able to do something, but honestly, most forum posts I've seen, they weren't able to get much resolution. Here's the panel gap I have in the back. It almost looks like someone has rear-ended the car. Matter of fact, when I first got the car, I actually didn't even notice it because, you know, you're not really getting into the car. You don't really see the back, you know, when you're getting into the car. And someone had asked me, did I already get into a rear end situation? I was like, no, what are you talking about? And they kind of walked me over and they're like, look, the panel doesn't align. I was like, this is actually really bad. And the back panel is horrendous for that. I mean, the, the gap really looks like there's some issues with that, with the panel gap. And you may have gotten rear-ended. Now, the front one also with the headlights, that's something I did notice very early into my ownership of the Mustang. The left headlight, it sticks further than the right one. The right one pretty much aligns more or less kind of what you would expect, but the left one is pretty bad where you can kind of see it's, you know, poking out. Again, same thing. It looks like I have, you know, gotten into like a fender bender and I would just, whoever fixed the car up did not do a great job. So honestly, if Ford has to close down the factory, shut down the factory for a couple weeks to be able to get the panel gaps fixed, I am all for it because... As we all know, unfortunately, the 2024 Mustang, the S650 Mustang, whether you get the EcoBoost, the GT, or the Dark Horse, the prices have gone up. Not by a little, but by a significant amount. So when you're expecting that, when you're paying that kind of money for a Mustang, for a Ford product, 
you want to make sure Ford does what they're supposed to do and at least get the panels to be looking right. And the thing is like Ford has been making cars for so many years so there's really not much excuse that it is okay or is acceptable to be having those kind of panel get from a company who's been making cars for, for so many years. Like with Tesla, I get it. They're like $50,000 car but they were the first in the electric world really to be having a mass produced EV cars. And if you wanted something different, if you wanted something EV, people would buy the Tesla and they would put up with the terrible build quality. But even then, it's been 10 years since Tesla's been making cars and now there's so much competition with EVs like Ford is making the Mustang Mach-E for the Tesla Model Y competitor. Even Tesla's getting a lot of flag when you're gonna pay this much for the car. They need to do a little bit better with their quality. I really hope shutting down the factory for a couple of weeks, figuring these out, retooling the factory, making sure you know the electronics are working properly, within the Mustang, the V8 valve covers are fixed, but I'm gonna be really excited if Ford manages to roll out all these 2024 S650 Mustangs without any panel gap, because that's been the huge concern. A lot of GT350 owners early into the generation have also pointed it out that they were disappointed, and at that time the GT350 was like $50,000 or so. Now that's gonna be the GT Premium money for that kind of car. If you want a dark horse, it's $70,000. So I really hope Ford gets their act together and we have a product that is fully finished with no quality issues. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what do you think about Ford closing down the factory for fixing some of these important things, at least in my mind. And of course, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.